Hello, it's Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to share something a little bit different because I've recently picked up a few things from Etsy stores, charity shops and they're all kind of for a particular project that I want to start working on. One of the things I really want to do is create an altered journal and I've seen so many people doing these wonderful altered journals and I've never done one before but so I thought I'd probably share the process that I go through here on YouTube. So one of the first things I did is I went to a local charity shop and I found these hard-backed books and I wanted ones with the removable jackets so that I know I can decorate the cover. And I wasn't too concerned about the insides because I know that I'm going to be cutting out lots of the pages, but I just wanted to make sure that they still seemed kind of really well intact so that I didn't have pages falling out. And I really liked this one because it's actually got some pictures in that when I go through the process of making the altered journal, I'm hoping I can leave some of these in here. And the last thing I got from the charity shop was this. It's how to play the plectrum banjo, which wasn't why I bought it, but it's a lovely, great big book full of music paper, which I think will be really lovely for decorating in my junk journal and probably including some in my altered books. So I'd love to know in the comments down below whether you've done this or whether you'll be interested perhaps in following the different stages I go through. I'll try and film them as kind of tutorials, but as I'm gonna be learning as I go, I am expecting there to be some mistakes and things that go wrong, but hopefully it'll be fun for us to learn together. So one of the other things that I've done is I've been online shopping on Etsy stores for more printables and if you've just watched my August journal zine video you'll have seen some of these. So I've got lots of different journaling cards that are all there. I've, I've cut them out, mounted them on card and distressed them around the edge with some vintage distress ink so that I'm hopefully all ready to go. And it's also got some, I've got some different pieces of papers and pockets and all kinds of things in there. And I will leave the links to the shops below. I got some from Artie Mays, some from Pink Monarch Prints and some from Victoria Design. So I've got quite a mixture in there, all ready to go, all kind of in a vintage -y style. And because I also wanted to try something a little bit different, I've bought this crackle glaze. I was actually looking for the Tim Holtz crackle glaze because I've seen really good things about it, but I couldn't find it in stock anywhere in the UK. So I went for this Deco Art Media and I got that from a company called Country View Crafts. And again, I'll leave them linked down below. I've had a little play with it and I don't know if you can see the crackle on those at all, it's really hard to pick up on camera. But I've had a quick experiment, I've learned that I need to apply that in much thicker layers. So that's something I'm going to play around with because I thought it'd be nice to add a crackle glaze on top of some of the printable ephemera. And the final thing that I bought and I'm really excited about is only arrived actually this morning. But it's because I want to add, when I decorate my cover of my altered book, I want to do some slow stitching. And I've got some old kind of neutral coloured fabric that I'm going to sew on top of. And from what I've learned about it on YouTube, it comes from the kind of art of visible mending, which I think is Japanese, where you don't try and hide kind of when you're patching things up, you actually let the stitching be part of the beauty of it. So I looked on Etsy for a slow stitching kit. And so this has arrived this morning and I haven't been through anything in here yet, but I'm really excited about it. The shop that I bought this from is called Stitching Vintage. 
So again, I'll leave a link to those down below, but this is all vintage fabrics sourced in France and the UK. So what I'm hoping this is, is lots of little pieces of fabric and buttons and things like that, that I can use to kind of just add different elements until I've got hopefully a really lovely cover that I can add on top of my altered book. So we'll have a little look through this. See, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was after. These lovely buttons. Well, there's some pieces of paper, which will be great as well, actually. I didn't know that was going to be included. I oh, see this is perfect. This is all of the kinds of things that I wanted. I've got lots and lots of scraps of fabric and I'll probably be using some of those as well. But I really wanted to go for a lovely vintage feel. So these pieces of lace, different floor fabrics. Oh, this is just gonna be absolutely perfect for what I'm looking for. So my plan is that, as I mentioned, I'm gonna try and create most of the altered journal whilst on camera, but the slow stitching is probably something that I will do in the evenings, something that's just relaxing that I can take over onto the settee, and just kind of have a play with. I'm not expecting anything to be perfect from this, but I'm really hoping to learn a few things along the way. And I'll definitely be carrying on looking at some other YouTube videos. And if there's specific bits that I get from other people's videos, I will then mention and of course link them in any sort of future videos I do on this as well. Cause I know loads of people have been doing these. Oh, this is perfect. I'm so excited now to get started, but I wanted to share this kind of like mini haul in advance because I mentioned it on Patreon and quite a few people there were interested in having a go to both at the altered journal and combining the slow stitching. So I thought it might be helpful if I shared in advance kind of the things that I've got, what I'm planning on using, so that if you want to join in, you can get sort of your supplies together, look at if there's anything else you might need so that you're ready to go at the same time as me. I'm really looking forward to trying this out. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the different bits that I've bought. I really enjoyed just shopping from Etsy and smaller businesses. It's just been a lovely experience and you can feel kind of how much love goes into these things. So I'm just really excited to get started. I hope I kind of do credit to them and the different things that I've bought. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know down below if you're going thinking of joining in as well. And as always, a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.